Welcome to Norse's Spellslinger Healing Guide. Today I will be covering three things. A fresh 50 build, a raid void pack build, and some general runing and gear tips to get you started. So, you've hit level 50. First thing you want to do is put Vitality Burst on your bar and move it up to tier 8. Vitality Burst is our staple heal. We will, it's the first ability that you will turn to when another ally needs a heal. Second, you'll turn to Sustain. Sustain is our big AoE heal that hits 25 meters around us. It hits nine other allies and yourself, so 10 in total. You always wanna have that on tier eight as well. I run Regen Pulse as my oh shit button. So if a ally takes too much damage or stands in something they shouldn't, it is something that I hit to basically save their life. Same as Runes of Protection up there as it applies an Absorb, which is a great buffer so that you can heal someone up before they take any more damage. Healing Salve is another great thing to run, uh, as it's a 10 second buff which heals over time when an another ally takes damage. In Utility, it's really up to you. I personally run two Interrupts in Arcane Shock and Gate. Gate is also a good movement ability, and Void Slip. If you require Focus, Gather Focus is a great ability to switch out Void Slip for, and it will also proc your Focus Stone so that you can get about 20% Focus instantly. So what amps should you bring? We'll skip over the tier 1 amps and we'll just focus on tier 2. So we have Power Surge, just there. Uh, for the Whenever you have Spell Surge active, which is our innate, you gain 8% support power. Spell Surge you will almost always have active. Clarity, uh, I have for you just for uh, a little bit of focus to make sure that at this early stage uh, in your healing career that you do not run out of focus. Augmented Armor is a great uh, buff for healing salve. Uh, and Runes of Protection, as it puts a buff on any player you hit with those abilities that give them an additional armor rating. And I have Holy Roller. You will always have Holy Roller, uh, regardless of your build, as it gives you a huge support power increase just for healing. Support Utility, I have Fury and Flame Armor. Fury gives you a nice support power buff when uh, your absorbs are removed from a target, and Flame Armor also does a little bit of damage back at the target. And in Utility, I have Focus Stone. Focus Stone uh, procs off your Gather Focus. Whenever you use Gather Focus, you'll gain a Focus Stone, which you can use similar to how you would use any boost, and it will give you roughly about 10% of your focus back. Once you start getting those all-important amp and ability points, once you have two additional amp points, what I would suggest is to drop Clarity, pick up Readiness, so that you can pick up Void Pack, which is going to be very important, especially if you want to do raids, and it also is a nice DPS increase when doing dungeons as well. So let's put it to use. So as you can see here, the main ability that I'm using is Vitality Burst, and it will always be the ability that you will mostly use. Never will you charge up Vitality Burst. You always want to keep it at charge one, so it does not have a cooldown, so it's always available for use. You also want to use Healing Salve roughly every 10 seconds. As the buff lasts for 10 seconds, that will give you a 100% uptime on both your 8% increase in armor rating and the heal over time buff. Positioning is also the most important aspect in being a successful healer. You want to remain no more than 25 meters away from all of your possible allies, and during dungeons, be as close to the tank as possible while not diminishing your availability to be able to reach the DPS. Always have Spell Surge active. This is indicated by the glowing icon. This will ensure that you receive the 8% increase to support power from the Power Surge amp. As you can see in this footage, I get a little bit out of position and attempt to recover by chasing after the tank. Luckily the DPS saved me and we phased the boss. While this is going on, I'm also trying to keep healing salve up as much as possible for that heal over time buff. And there you have it. So let's talk about raid healing. The most common raid build that you will see is a Spellslinger healer running tier 8 void pack, which is what we're going to talk about. All of the abilities are the same, the only difference is we have dropped healing salve and picked up tier 8 void pack. You can also still drop void slip for gather focus if required. So as you can see here, I've dropped clarity, picked up readiness, and we also have void pack. Due to the increase in amp points, I'm also able to pick up hyper shield and healing aura. Hyper shield. Landing a direct critical heal grants a almost 2k absorb for 5 seconds. This ability does roughly 7% of my overall healing during a raid. I also use Healing Aura, which does roughly 3% of my overall healing. Both of these abilities are passive, so they're basically free heals for your team. Now as you can see, I have dropped Augmented Armor. 
As I do not run Healing Salve uh, during this build or during raids, I find that it is irrelevant to run it uh, just for Runes of Protection. Whereas with Salve, that hits 10 allies. And during a raid of 20 people, a 4 person buff uh, does not outweigh the gain that you get from Healing Aura or from Hyper Shield. So let's see it in action. You always want to be hitting Void Pact at the start of a fight and as soon as it becomes off cooldown. A Spell Slinger is a very good raid healer. We predominantly will be healing the DPS. Uh, it is very rare that you will see a Spell Slinger assigned to a tank. That job is usually given to the medics of the raid. So as we spoke about positioning earlier, as you can see I'm hovering somewhere in between the middle of the DPS or towards the back. Uh, while maintaining a nice location so that I can hit the Void Pack buff with the entire raid. So, let's talk runes. As you can see on the screen, the first stat you want to focus is Focus Recovery up until about 1.5%. At 1.5, Diminishing Returns kicks in, and you will receive less Focus Recovery per point you place in that stat. Minimum Focus Pool is 1500. Pushing close to 2000 is recommended once you start getting into the higher level gear. I personally believe that multi-hit and intensity are both equally important. Intensity increases your overall healing output, but increases your focus cost. Hitting 5% intensity after points 1 and 2 are covered is advisable, and just stack as much multi-hit as you can. But what rune sets should you pick? Sinashore should always be 6 for 6 in as much gear as possible. Below item level 100, Resurgence 2 for 6 in that last spot is advisable, and above that I would recommend Concentration for the Intensity Increase. Let's take a quick look at Sinashaw. The set bonuses for Sinashaw give you Multi-Hit Chance, Focus Pull, and a little bit of Severity. The Focus Pull and the Multi-Hit Chance here are really useful. I would recommend going into the Multi-Hit and Focus Recovery runes for Air and Water respectively. I wouldn't go into the Health Life slot as it's a wasted stat. But why Concentration? Concentration gives you Intensity, whereas Resurgence gives you a, a plus Critical Hit Chance at the 2 power bonus. As we do not stack Critical Hit Chance uh, for any of our other abilities, I would strongly recommend the Intensity for the increased healing output rather than Critical Hit Chance. As you get into the higher eye level, you will have a higher amount of Focus Recovery and Focus Pull, so that you will be able to sustain yourself regardless of what your Intensity is at. As you can see here, I have about 15% Critical Hit Chance, Hyper Shield that we spoke about earlier procs off critical hit chance and it does 7% of my overall healing and at 15% critical hit chance that's still a lot. And here is the most important utility stats. As you can see my focus recovery is at 1.57. Once you get above 1.5 the stat will turn yellow to indicate the diminishing returns has kicked in. My focus pool is at almost 1800 and my intensity is at 5% which is exactly where I want it to be. But what about those all important fusion runes? In each piece of gear, minus the shoulders and legs, you can place one fusion rune. For the pistols, I would recommend Overflow. As a spell slinger, we do not have a shield healing ability, and basically what this does is if the target is at 100%, it then heals their shields. For the head, I would suggest Harmony. Harmony gives you a 30% chance to increase focus recovery on a critical hit or a multi-hit. For the chest, I would suggest Conservation for the same reason, I would also suggest Protector on your gloves for the reduced damage taken by 5%. And the feet is also personal preference. I personally would suggest running Quick Feet for the increased movement speed, however some people prefer to completely drop a Fusion stat on the feet and have the extra rune instead. And that wraps up this guide. I will leave a link below to the two different builds that I have covered today. If you found this video informative, please leave a like, comment below if you have any questions and I will answer them for you, or find me in game at Norza True Shop. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.